the AutoDS products page has all of the products that AutoDS is currently monitoring on our stores. It has all of the products that we have imported from our draft section. So it moves from drafts to products. So once your items are in the products page, you know that AutoDS is monitoring them with your suppliers. Now let's get to know what each column means. The first thing that you'll see is your items picture. If you click on the picture, you'll be taken to the full item edit page where you can edit the title, the collection that it's in, the tags, the country location, the brand, shipping methods, the city that the item is in, the stock monitoring, price monitoring, and auto ordering if you have it on. You can edit the item's description. You can edit the variants. You can edit the images, the item specifications. So those are all of the options that you have for editing the product by just clicking on the picture in the products page. The next thing that you'll see is the item's title, the date which it was uploaded on. You can add notes for each product. These three little dots allow you to add or edit your own tags. The green box shows the total amount of variations which are in stock. The yellow box shows variants that are on hold. And the red box shows variants that are out of stock. Now let's talk about the difference between on hold and out of stock. Let's take this product for example. As you can see, we have 55 variants that are on hold. This means that AutoDS took them out of stock, even though the supplier has them in stock. And to find the reason why AutoDS took it out of stock, all you have to do is hover your mouse over the yellow box. And here you can see that the 55 variants are over their shipping time. This means that the shipping time that you have set in your settings are lower than what we have configured in our settings. So for example, if your shipping settings time are set to five days, but the supplier can only ship them within 10 days, AutoDS will take them out of stock even though the supplier has them in stock. This is obviously for your own protection. If you want to ship out your items within 10 days or however long it will take the supplier, just change it in your settings and the variants on hold will switch to green to available. And the red out of stock box means that the supplier really doesn't have any stock right now. If and when they will have stock, it will go back to being available or on hold if there's some kind of configuration which is not passing its setting. So that's what these three boxes means, each one with their own color. If you want to see exactly the reason why the item is on hold or why the item is out of stock, simply hover your mouse over the red or yellow box. Next, you have your total, which shows the total number of variants that you have for each item. So for example, this product over here has 75 variants. This product over here has only one variant. This product over here has six variants. Moving on, you have your buy and sell price range. So for example, since this item over here has six variants, your buy prices vary from $14.97 to $15.99. Your sell prices range from $20.7 to $22.09. And here, since you only have one variant, you'll only have one buy or sell price. $21.99 is your buy price. $30.23 is your sell price. Moving forward is your item ID. You'll be able to see the source product ID. So if you click on it over here, you have Amazon's icon. So you can tell this product is from Amazon. And if you click on the item ID, you'll be taken straight to the Amazon product page or to whichever supplier it was directly to the product page. If you click on the item ID on your site. So for this example, it's a Shopify demo site. So there's nothing much to see there. But if you click on it, you'll be taken to the Shopify product page. Here you can see the total number of times each item was sold. Here, DWS stands for days without sell. You'll be able to see exactly how many days each item hasn't sold, if it ever sold. And you have your store name, so you can see which item belongs to which store. Clicking on view history will show you all of the history that each product had on the platform. So for example, if I click on September 3rd, 2020, I can see that one of the products was imported to the selling platforms. If I click on details, it will show me even more in depth which item it was and exactly what happened. So here you can see the last history of the item that we saw up here. It was created on September 3rd. Here's a source item ID, the sell item ID where we uploaded it to, which store it belongs to, and the status completed means it was uploaded successfully. And here it is. So you can see all of the history that you had with all of the products when you uploaded them to the store when they move from draft to products and so forth. Next, you have the customized display section, which means you can easily rearrange all of the section titles that you see up here. So for example, I can move sold before variations. I want to see the tags 
before the sold. I want my store name to be last. Let's update that. And here it was all rearranged, more comfortable for my eyes. So that's exactly what customized display gives us. Another super important feature that I want to talk about is the add filter option, which gives you the ability to search for any product that you have on your site within the filter that you want. So for example, I would like to filter out all of the products that are on buy site AliExpress, which will show me all of the products that I have uploaded from AliExpress as the source site. So for this example, I have four items from AliExpress and from here I can add another filter on side of the AliExpress source site. I can save the filter or I can clear and start another search. So let's do another one. For example, I would like to see all of the items that have a buy price of anything greater than $10. Now it'll filter out all of the products that cost us more than $10 on the source price, on the buy price. Let's clear that and try just another option. So I want to see all of the items that have an inventory status of out of stock. I would like to see all of my out of stock products. And as you can see, even if you have, for example, 20 variants that are in stock, but you have at least one, var one variant that is out of stock, it's also gonna show in your out of stock filter. So play around with the filter option a lot. It can really help you organize your store and with your product research. The last thing I wanna talk about is the number over here, which shows you the total number of products that AutoDS is monitoring for you. You also have the total number of untracked products. So if for any reason, AutoDS was not able to synchronize between your store and the supplier, just click on the untracked products link. It'll show you all of the products which were not able to sync with AutoDS and the supplier. All you have to do is manually fill in the source ID, the product ID, which supplier it's from, which reason you're uploading it to, click on add. And if AutoDS will be able to successfully sync it, you'll be able to see it move from untracked products to products. Another way to move untracked products to the tracked section of AutoDS is by adding a CSV file. So here you have the link add from CSV, click on that. And here you can drop your CSV file or click on it to upload it from your computer. Once you do that, you'll be able to bulk upload all of the items that you had inside the CSV file. And there are two ways to go about that. One is using the AutoDS helper Chrome extension. And the other would be to create a CSV file manually. To learn about these two methods, check out AutoDS's Help Center. It has everything that you need to know. That pretty much sums up the product page. I hope you understood it all. If there's any questions, we also have our Help Center. Or you can also reach out to our chat support, which is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.